Hey everybody, I'm beyond the spectrum. So, I think I'm just gonna try something a little different here. This is, a, you know, if this resonates with you, it's, it is this message for you kind of thing. All right, let me shuffle the tarot card deck. As always, I call on the most high for guidance and protection. Through divine Christ, Archangel Michael, watches over us and protects us. See what you guys are going on, what's going on on your journey. Get some guided, suggested advice for y'all, especially from your higher self. I got higher self oracles here. So let's see what's going on with you and the collective that I'm connected to, the Star Sea Collective, at this time. I am gonna pause for a moment and say, okay, so that song, We Didn't Start a Fire, what, for those who I investigate everything. My guides tell me things for a reason. Those of you who are at that level, um, read the lyrics to the song because it pertains to now. And it does. I posted the song on my community post that has the lyrics in it for those who are uh, yeah, mirroring worlds, for those um, you know who actually investigate the readings that I put out. I'm, you know, a little, I'm a little different than the regular average tarot reader on here. So we have releasing, mirroring, okay? Let's find out all what's going on with the collective. All signs, all star seed signs. Let's see what's going on. You're releasing some behaviors. Maybe people, places, and things. We're releasing that. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa material world. We are living in a material world. Yeah. Let's find out more. Something about 2013 could be significant as well. 1997 could be significant to you as well. Um, let's find out more. I'm just going to pull a few more cards that want to come out and then I will intuitively read these. If you would like to book a reading, um, with me, uh, I will put my email in the description box and send me an email with, in the subject to put a uh, uh, reading and uh, we'll go from there, okay? okay? Some of you are purchasing land. Some of you are purchasing land like you're going to another country. Maybe you have fam familiar there. Me familiar. Yeah, I'm seeing land. Farming. Free will. Okay. Okay, I am picking up on a, uh, a strong connection, what some call twin flame. Um, you're mirroring each other. Okay. Releasing what no longer serves you um, in this material world. Um, you may be selling stuff as well to raise money, I feel, for uh, this land, okay, for your family, because it's free will, and some of you feel like that's being taken from you. Well, I'm hearing before it's taken from you. That's interesting. Never heard that before. Okay, patience, third party, brick and mortar buildings. Okay. Winter. Some of you may be applying for a loan. You're being asked to be patient with that. Um, maybe a third party loan. Karmic partners. Okay. We're releasing karmic partners. Aligning with our tribes. Winter is key. Clarify winter. Something unique and different, I'm hearing. Yeah, fifth dimension, okay. Devotion. Some of you have, okay, some of you, um, in the 5D, you have a, your divine person, okay? You, you are connected always in the 5D. With your, your, I feel that with your divine counterpart, okay? They're your tribe. You're vibing your tribe. Um, you've learned a lot from your karmic partners, Maybe you've been choosing karmic partners and your person's been there the whole time, okay? You're being asked to refocus. Because the two of you are marrying each other and swans mate for life, your family, 
your family, you are a tribe. Um, I am being shown land, growing your own food, um, because it is something that the, something from the fifth dimension in your dream state or however that worked for you, showed you to do this. Your devotion. Okay, contemplation. Okay, a lot of you have been dealing with some deceptive behavior. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, a lot of you, some of you have been dealing with someone who you feel like you've compromised yourself, gone against, you've like that you've trespassed against yourself. Now you're in this energy of devotion. You are devoted to yourself. You're devoted always to Father and Divine Christ um, or Buddha or whoever, you know, you connect into. Um, some of you live by the ocean. I am connected in with a divine masculine who was deceptive. Okay. They're a soulmate for you. There's some grief here. They're a soulmate. And, oh. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I have a divine masculine here that is clearing out karmic partners. This person, this divine masculine, kept thinking this is the divine counterpart because it's a soulmate. You have a twin out there. That's why I'm mirroring is here. Okay? You do. You have a twin union. In the 5D. You're having dreams about it. You're in some grief, stage of grief over this karmic partner. You've learned all you can. Um, this person was very deceptive. And you were deceiving yourself. There's a third party involved here. Okay. Patience. Patience with yourself. There may be a child involved. Uh, patience with yourself through this time. It's a, it is a grief because um, it's it's like old cycles, right? It's like old cycles, and as we wake up and we ascend more, okay, we're more into the more high vibrational five, fifth dimension unions, okay. And a lot, of, many of you are, are many of you um, are single and not settling for less. So you're actually in that power. But I'm connected into divine masculines here that are truly clearing out their karma 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 partners. Someone may have been all about the money, you know, the material world. Um, this divine masculine is way more esoteric and keeps finding these partners that are very materialistic, bringing them back down into the 3D. Something that you had to learn about that, about you. And that is a grief process. Free will isn't always the best choice. Being devoted to the Father and Divine Mother is, um, I don't feel it's a choice, but some people may feel it's a choice. Um, you're on this, I'm picking up on Divine Masculine, that's now totally devoted to um, their mission, their soul mission. Um, they're really done with karmic partners, which is people, places, and things as well. It doesn't have to be a person. Um, it's just about this material world, seeing that there's more here. You woke up. I'm connected in with the divine masculine that woke up. You were in a lot of toxic behavior. Maybe you still are, but I, I'm picking up on someone that, no. No. You're more into the 5D now. And it is a grief. You're vibing your tribe. Your soul family. Your star family. Um, shedding the old, again, which is a grief process, and it is, uh, for this twin flame union. You've been doing this lifetimes with each other, to find each other. Some of you have settled with your, some of you have actually settled with your karmic partner, and, um, that's why everything feels like it goes to shit. So sorry for saying it like that, but that's what I'm hearing. Um, you're asking to be to pause. You're being asked and guided to pause. Yeah, I'm hearing you don't want to miss this chance. Regrets. Someone's holding on to a lot of regrets. This could be someone you were already in a connection with at one point. Um, remember, release those regrets. We visit, we don't live there. You know what I'm saying? It's good to look at ourselves, look at our patterns and our behaviors and feel those feelings. 
but we don't live there, okay? And some of you kind of been taking up residence there, and it's time to let that go. Yeah, silent. Show me more about this divine masculine who's awake. Yeah, you're in separation. I'm hearing that, so I'm hopelessly devoted to you. These all came out again. That's interesting, because I did shuffle them. I did. Contemplation came out again. Material world. Karmic partner came out. Free will. You're being asked to refocus and release. Okay? Something to do with the fall. See the two candles. A great pause with the sun for healing. Lessons. Patience with yourself through these lessons. Twin flame came out again. Pride and ego got in the way. I'm here and digging dirt from uh, digging in the dirt from, oh, for Pete's sakes, what's his name? I can't think of his name right now. The the, the singer, um, digging in the dirt. It's an 80s tune. Oh, for Pete's sakes, I can't believe I can't think of the singer. It'll come to me. Anyway, digging in the dirt for family in your tribe you've been feeling like you're stuck in the mud you know why because you you're not aligned you weren't aligned right person you're with wears masks you felt like this was your real person and it, it, you did you feel like they had this mask on that you really felt like this was your true counterpart and um you're being shown god is showing you a lot about your person that you're with now who is a karmic partner that you have to go through these lessons okay because you have divine feminine here you've been on some kind of destructive path and now you're awakened changing changing out of this material world with these karmic partners okay not always signing up for free will, even though we have a choice. You're being guided to refocus and release. Someone sits by the water and thinks and reflects because they feel stuck in the mud. Okay. Wasn't a lot. Look at how I was. There's nothing there. With this, some connection that you're in is dried and barren. Okay. This new connection that's trying to come in, showing me like planting, digging dirt. You've been dealing with someone who has a lot of masks. For a while, that inspires you. But now, they've taken so much that you feel left, dried out, cracked. But you had to be broken open, like breaking bread, right? so that you could get fresh dirt and grow. Remember, a lotus starts out in the mud, right? And then blooms into the lotus. It's beautiful. This is going to, when you do align with, you know, when you release karmic energies, pride and ego, which I'm feeling you're psychic. You, you, I feel like you know that you have somebody else that you're connected to psychically, okay? It's going to bring in balance in this union. Look at that. That's beautiful. This union brings significant balance on your journey right down into the material world. Everything is aligning. It's bringing some messages um, from your higher self. Distance is hard for me. 5D manifestations. You are the alchemist and magician. Any more about divine masculine message from 5d divine masculine to the 3d divine masculine show me 5d divine masculine message to the 3d what messages to this fifth dimension to the third dimension divine masculine my angels and guides thank you so much they're very happy you're awake trust in divine timing okay you are healing DNA and clearing out astral karma in you. Didn't I say that? In your family line. It's family in here. Tribe. I think family's in here as well. Yep, look at that. Family line. You're integrating your masculine and feminine energies. Um, you, may, you may be seeing 11-11 a lot. Um, 
Someone's carrying a lot of guilt. Let go of control. You are transcending limitations. Within a year, someone sending telepathic messages in, I miss you a lot more than you believe. Divine masculine to his divine feminine. Whoa. You may have met your karmic partner in 2013. I am overcoming my fears. And or you could have met your twin in 2013 and just didn't uh, you end up going with a karmic partner. This is an interesting reading. Unexpected blessings. Unexpected blessings. That's beautiful. All right. What was going on with this divine masculine at this time? Running away. Because of pride. Not understanding what you didn't understand. Show me more about divine masculine, please. Moving on to karma, waters, trust. Can we work things out? Some of you, this is someone you do know. Trust, there may be children involved. Karma, waters, you guys had a past life. And Atlantis and Ola Maria, you were part of that battle. Yeah, the distance between us is killing me. So this is somebody you know. Picking up on some of you, you know that you're connected to somebody else, but you're with somebody else. Does that make, I hope that makes sense. You're very artistic because they're showing me paint brushes. You paint. I have a friend who does this too, but this is not what I'm picking up on. I'm picking up on um, many divine masculines that um, have painted memories of another life. Um, you have a muse around you that's inspiring you. To get writing, drawing, painting, you, you know, getting into your um, artistic side, okay? I am waiting for the right time to be transparent with you. I feel like ancient Egypt as well. Yeah, someone that ran away. I'm working on my inner issues. This divine masculine is finding a lot of strength. He may have, he may have a lot of tattoos. Tattoos represent... Um, I know there's some divine masculines out there that have ink on them from past life memories. Okay, this is the kind of divine masculine I'm picking up on. Your ink on your body um, is from past life memories. To help you remember. You put this ink on your body to help you remember. But somehow, you got sidetracked and got into the karmic loops. Okay, no judgment, just that's what I'm hearing. It's new to you. You're burnt out. This is still new to me, and I'm feeling overwhelmed. Kind of judgment is here. Yes, it's worth it to take that leap of faith, okay? Because <laughs> this is a significant, significant connection. Wow. The two become one. The two become one. Yeah, it's a wish upon a star. You wished upon this as a child because you trusted, you remembered. You remembered the promise, the two, and that's real. You remembered the promise the two of you made to each other before you came here to find each other. Yeah, I'm that reader. You are my shining star. Please forgive me. You're seeing the signs. It's putting you in a dark night of the soul. You might not have been ready at the time for what this person had because of your spiritual beliefs, okay? Life Partners is here, divine guidance. Some of you did pass up your twin to go on with a life partner, and that's okay. You might feel a prisoner to that as well, and that's interesting. All right, what message is there for your higher self? Spiritual mission, this connection supports energy healing on Gaia and other realms. That's interesting now. I just literally split the deck, so it was like, you know, that's interesting. Okay, let's end this with some divine messages. Yeah, divine feminine. Recharge, retreat now for important self-care, okay? 
Divine Feminine can feel you. Your Divine Feminine can feel you. She may not always understand what she's feeling, but she can feel you. Someone also feels like they effed up. I'm hearing that. I effed up. I effed up. Any more messages from Divine Masculine? Any more messages for Divine Masculine? There's something about two, yeah, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Look at that. There's a line in. This alignment's coming in. You know why? Because you're not, you're not, you're fine being on your own. You don't need somebody. Divine Feminines have really evolved, and no, nothing against Divine Masculines, just Divine Feminines have really evolved into, uh, especially on this journey, this particular one, um, being okay by themselves and trusting the Lord for their person to come in, okay, because they understand the spiritual mission. Something about 2013. which is uh, also on a dime. <laughs> on a dime might be significant, um, but the 10 to me is significant. Endings and beginnings. Any more messages about divine masculine, this connection with the divine masculine? Any more messages for this divine masculine energy? Two hearts. Two hearts that beat as one. That's interesting. Hmm. It's almost like um, you you kept being shown signs, right? And you kept being shown signs, and, and like you're ignoring them. But but father's like shoving it in your face. Father's like you're not going to ignore this. That's why the awakening is here. Any more messages from Divine? Oh. New beginnings, let go, change, time to move forward, risks and opportunities, even financially, okay? Reconciliation, the return of a past soulmate. And I'm going to end it there. I am beyond the spectrum. Acceptance is key. Accepting yourself and others as they are liberates patterns of resistance open to flow. I'm, I'm beyond the spectrum. This is divine masculine energy reading. Unexpected blessings are coming in. Divine masculine is clearing out past life traumas, okay? And they're at a rite of passage on the spiritual mission. Much love, everybody.